guys so welcome back to Risodu Academy and this is a tech um, follow-up and this time around I'm with this great guy here Ajibola very good guy don't be deceived Hi guys business on fire so um today we're going to be talking about everything UI UX um, I'm sure that there are a lot of people that um you know this is kind of their thing or right? they've been wondering how do i do it how do i not do it what's the what's the right way what's the right approach what's the money like all the answers will be um aside here on this vlog today so stay with us subscribe share you can actually post the video now and subscribe and do all this good stuff thank you guys so hi hi so can you tell us your name and what your role is currently all right uh, my name is Ajibola Samuel I'm a product designer or what you would call a UI UX designer give us a brief background on how you came into UI UX designing what the journey has been like just wake up and say would it be this what prompted it okay yeah um, so my background is in engineering you know I studied engineering mechanical engineering to be precise um, even though as a kid I'd always like you know stuff around art but there was no way I could express it you know I know that my African parents had doctor lawyer or engineer my mom literally told me so <laughs> I As they all. I mean I picked the engineering because mm. I was fairly good at it so I got into school to study engineering why right? because I just thought oil money now so <laughs> you know, that was even though I never had a passion for engineering but somewhere in my third year um, I just stumbled across a training for something something design I was like hmm, well, let's, see what, let's see what we can get there so I, I took that training I liked it I was one of the best people in the class mm, and I shit. just you know stuck with you know just doing design mm. I was still in school for engineering when I actually finished you know I have an engineering degree you know but I just liked design after that time so. just so you know there is not a dropout exactly I'm not a dropout so <laughs> Um, yeah, so after, I mean, I did that for a while, even after school, right? So I've never worked as an engineer one day in my life. It's just always been a designer, but mm. not exactly a product designer. So I started out as a graphic designer, um, then I moved to being an art director at an mm. art agency, and then I moved to being a brand designer before mm. I settled on being a product designer. Okay. Yeah. So, so I'm thinking from when you were in school till now so what's this um, what's the what's the duration what's the time and i'm very particular i'm also very interested in like the products since that's like the tech yeah the product part of it when did that start for you so people want to know an idea of how old i am anyways it's been about 10 years since i started um since i started this design journey so i started 2012 there about um but product design about three four years ago so yeah um, 2000. An OG. <laughs> Not really, but anyways, yeah. But when you started, was this? There wasn't so much craze about tech then. Of course, of course. So even four years ago. It was I, I, I wouldn't even say I started very. Um, I started very um, passionate about it. Oh. So I just, I just did because you know it's one of those other things. In my mind, I felt this thing kind of go anywhere. So it's not even so interesting. I felt that what I was doing. Oh, that's product. Was, yeah. Oh wow. I felt like what I was doing there was the real design work and stuff mm. like that. Yeah. So my, do you still feel like that? My mind has been reorientated. <laughs> by, uh, of course. So I definitely don't feel like that anymore because mm. you know, I'm now passionate about you know what I do. So, oh, yeah, makes sense. If I'm an entry level person now, I'm just learning UI UX and I'm just you know I'm product designing like you say. I just like to get into this. What realistically speaking, without raising my hopes too much, like what do I look at earning? And for somebody at your level, what's the what's what's the range like? If you can speak for outside the country, based on plenty of job buying, I'm sure you have plenty for outside. Please do let us know. Yes. Okay. So one of the good things about product design, UI design, is that it's not yet the regulated industry or, or field like that that you have standard levels. But I'll just talk about talking ranges. You know. Uh, so if you're entry level. Um, entry level can be, for example, if, you're, if you can be entry level working at Google, you can be entry level working at one startup that nobody knows. Mm. And you know that the, the realities are going to be very different. Of course. You know, entry level at Google, you could be earning as much as, I mean, 500,000 Naira in Naira, right? When they come For back entry to, level. Yeah, okay. because it's Google. But 
I would say put yourself at around maybe between 100, 150 to maybe 250. That's if you want for you, entry level. For entry level, that's okay. just starting. You have maybe like a year or less experience. Mm. You know, you know the basics, of course, not like you don't know anything, you know. Mm. So you can put yourself there. Mm. Um, yeah. And as you grow, you can begin to expect, you know, expand, you know, what you're looking at. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, as you increase in seniority, then you can begin to command some more um, money. money. So, I mean, anywhere upwards from, you know, 500,000 naira, mm -hmm. you, know, you can begin to have friends that earn plenty, plenty of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, okay. yeah. So, I'd like to ask, see, I'm a JJC. I want to come into UIUX. I want to come to product designing. I want to, you know, chill with the big boys. How do I? How do I start? Do I need to train? Do I need to? I don't know. Just give me like a. Okay. So the beautiful thing about um, the field is also, like I said, it's not regulated. Is mm -hmm. that virtually anybody who has passion and skill set can get in, but it takes a lot of learning in that you have to be driven to learn you have to want to learn new things so there's a number of things that you want to learn um, first of all you have to um, have a mindset of solving problems you have to understand what problem solving is mm. you have to learn about design thinking as well mm. you, know, you have to learn and understand what is called empathy mm. some, some of these things they don't teach them in schools but you have to mm. find out about them and become more familiar with them mm. Uh, then you have to learn about design generally. That's visual design. Mm. Uh, I think that's where most people stumble when they say they want to start because it, it's like a motor skill, right? It's like when you're learning to drive. Mm. Everybody can drive. Mm. But if you've never tried to drive or practice driving, you mm. say you cannot drive. Mm. So you can learn how to design, right? Mm. But it takes practice. Mm. So when you're starting out in product design, you have to develop those mindset pro and problem solving mindset, mm. empathy, design thinking, you know, and you know, with all of that comes in, is a bunch of processes that you learn about. But you also need to be able to design. So you have to be good with colors, typography, layout, and those things. The more you do it, you know, the better you become. So okay. Yeah. So do you have somewhere like you could recommend for people to train at? I'm, I'm just guessing yeah. like it's cool. Awesome. Or like, yeah. okay. So I'm proudly part of like a, the faculty of one of these schools. I recommend it's called mm. Uranus Academy. Uranus. Yeah, well, okay. they're one of the top six. I put it on the screen, guys. Yeah, top six or top five um, tech academies in Nigeria right now and they focus specifically on design and design related subjects for now mm. you know they also have things like old school you have maybe i think uh, old school is there a couple of other ones that they are doing right now but i can tell you for free iranos so you will see me teach you guys in iranos oh you. perfect guys perfect perfect so on a scale of one to ten can you rate your experience um as a product designer and if you are thinking of upskilling to anything in tech or you're even upskilling already you know <laughs> okay so i i actually really love being a product designer you know so I'll give it a 8 over 10. Now, mm. as for upscaling, so there are two ways you can upscale. You can upscale across, and you can also upscale along. Mm. So, and you must always be upscaling. Mm. So, yeah. for now, I'm still maybe investing in upscaling along, meaning on the same path. You know, but there are other things that you need to help you become, become a more rounded tech bro, for example. Mm. So, um, there are a number of interesting stuff. One of them is product management. And why is because product management heavily overlaps what we do as product designers. Mm -hmm. You know, so feature setting, you know, planning, all of that, you know, that's one. Mm -hmm. And number two is that you're going to want to learn at least some level of coding. Not all. Why? Because it will help you better interact with the people that are going to use what you design. Yeah. You know, so um, yeah, but for now, I mean, it's, it's problem solving generally is very interesting. So, yeah. if you're going to upscale, you're just going to upscale to all that kinds of problems. Mm -hmm. So, that's what it is. Yeah. Hope that was clear. Yeah, very clear. I'm um, just encourage somebody out there, just encourage a young girl, a young boy, an old man, even. It's never too late, I would say. Um, an old woman, just somebody in your, your, uh, your age range. Just encourage anybody that's looking at this and, you know, looking to get into tech or looking to get into product designing. 
despite their um, career backgrounds or no, whichever yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the beautiful thing about the time we live in is that we live in the information age. Mm -hmm. And many of the restrictions that we had to deal with just 10, 15 years ago, don't know, they no longer exist. You can literally go to school and be proficient in anything you want to write down without being one naira. Mm. And so the only thing that is standing between you and wherever you think you want to be is how much you want it, right? Mm. There are so many things that you can do. So I want to encourage you, and well, it's never too late to go after what's interesting for you. And number two is that you have a lot of resource, resources at your disposal, a lot. So just spend time, you know, just, I mean, I remember I did it. You know, when I realized that I had studied engineering and th my third year, I was like, I should have been studying design. And I decided to take time off. I spent about six months studying design in my mm. room by myself, no teacher. I was my teacher. And, mm. you know, so, and I became good at it, right? Mm. So you can't do it. You definitely can. So invest time in studying and learning and, you know, bettering yourself. And in the next two, one, two, three years, you, I mean, you start seeing the results of what you've done, mm. you know. So there you have it, guys. This, like I said at the beginning of this vlog, like, see, head full of wisdom. Wow. <laughs> I said a lot. Don't be humble, head full of wisdom, Richard. I caught um, one or two things as well. Um, practice. I caught, you know, it's never too late to go after what uh, yeah. you love. Like I always say on this vlog, I'm a lawyer by, by uh, practice, by um, education. And it has never stopped me from, and I'm still a business analyst as I speak. So, yeah. your whatever you studied or what society has told you would should never define what you want for exactly. your life, especially with the way the world is moving. Let's be realistic. Yeah. These so called professional courses are not that it anymore. Mm. It's just the truth. And you have to move with the times. So, this was really insightful, uh, Majibola. I really, I thoroughly enjoyed myself, and I'm sure that. Um, the people watching to thoroughly enjoy this. So what's the social yeah. media handle? Okay, I'm on IG at V underscore Gwemileke. So I'm on Twitter too like that, but Twitter is not so active. Yeah, so I'll put it on the screen guys and the description yeah. box. So you won't follow you. And you know, he's also a tutor at Uranus School. Yeah. So Uranus. you guys got to check. Did you, did you, did you have a page on Instagram? Yeah, page? Uranus Academy. So if you, you are looking to um, product designing, please check that out. You'll be, wouldn't you love to see this one as one of your tutors? I mean, I'd love to see you guys. Um, so thank you guys for watching please subscribe share with your loved ones this is knowledge and what people pay to listen to yeah. and they are getting a part of it so just share the good word people want this i get a lot of requests sometimes asking them to just share it answers all their questions basically yeah. so thank you guys so my next time of a tech series or just with the work it's love and light over bye, bye.